Hi students, welcome back to Chakravarti E Classroom. Today we are going to discuss three questions from Directions chapter. All these three questions were already posted in our Telegram and WhatsApp groups. I think by this time most of the students must have finished these questions. See students, out of these three questions, two questions are very very important, particularly the second and the third question. Both the second and third question, both are taken from one of the previous exams only and directions chapter is such an important chapter for you. You can expect questions from this chapter almost in every competitive exam across the country. The difficulty level may vary from uh, exam to exam. But for all the exams, generally I tell this one in every uh, of my classes, uh, learning basics is very very important. Before solving these questions students, let's discuss basics in a nutshell in 2 to 3 minutes so that if any beginner is also there, he or she can understand the concept in a proper way. Alright, let's start with the basics here. Simple points I will give you, that's it. Total 8 directions we have. We know that one. Alright. So, what are those eight directions? Once again. Yeah. Total eight directions. We have generally questions based on these eight directions only. Quickly, we just recap. We will have a recap. Always the top is a north. You know this one, right? This is northeast, east, then it is a southeast, south. Southwest, West, Northwest, and of course that is uh, North. You know that one, right? So generally questions will be from this eight directions. You must be, you must be aware of this one. Sometimes what happens? They ask the questions beyond these eight directions also. Very rare in very high level exams. Generally, at uh, mains exams of very high level exams, they are asking some other directions also. Questions are based on some of the directions like uh, between north and northeast. We have one more direction that is north northeast. Very rarely they are asking the questions but still we must learn this one so that we will be equipped with everything in the light of all competitive exams. Alright, now you see between northeast and east, you tell me what is that one, what is the direction? Yes, east northeast this one. Alright, if you go here, it is uh, east side of southeast this one. Okay, east southeast and this is called uh, south southeast and this is south southwest, this is west southwest, this is west northwest and this is uh, north northwest. That's it. These are the eight directions. Basic eight followed by sub directions this. Always you should remember one thing, in competitive exams, questions can be from anywhere, from any nook and corner, we don't know that one. For that reason, you must learn everything. Alright, next. After knowing the uh, directions, it is better to know the sides also. Some students are getting confused, only 10% students. 90% of the students, what I have observed, easily determining the sides. For example, one person is going towards north, for example. For him, obviously, this is right, this is left. Already we discussed this one in seating arrangement, isn't it? Suppose one person is going towards east, this is right and left. And the person coming for south, for this person, this will become right, it is left. And of course, west side, right and left. Suppose the person is going towards northeast, right and left. Suppose to southeast. It should be right and it is left and so on. You should be thorough with the sides as well. Apart from this, there are some questions based on the degrees. See students, uh, if you start from north, uh, the total it is making a circle. That means here, here, if you calculate the angle here, from here to here, it is equal to obviously how many degrees? Uh, 360 degrees. Suppose, if you want to go a little in depth, the angle between north and northeast is 45 degrees. You know this one, right? Again, northeast and east, 45 degrees and so on. Total, it's a circle. Some questions based on that one as well. If the question is based on degrees, it's quite easy for us. We have a shortcut for that one. Right side, you have to add or clockwise direction, addition. 
anti clockwise and left side we have to go for the subtraction in the basic classes foundation classes in our regular courses we have discussed that one all right but here out of these three questions no question is based on the degrees forget about that one as in when it is required i'm going to explain that method also okay now coming back to the other basic thing how they generally ask the question see students in direction chapter generally they give one starting point some questions they give without starting point also that's a different case generally i'm telling you when starting point generally they give and they give some clues or directions according to that one one person goes first north then east then south or right side or left side and they end up at one place that is called the ending point generally questions are based on what is the shortest distance between the starting and the ending point we have to calculate while calculating the shortest distance always you have to go by the shortest distance except for those questions when they specifically ask the questions based on the path but otherwise the the distance must be calculated based on the shortest distance only while solving that one while finding the shortest distance generally we consult some geometrical figures like square rectangle and a right angle triangle most of the questions are based on these three geometrical figures only some questions a little high difficulty level questions advanced questions may be based on some of the figures also or collection of a square rectangle or square right angle triangle or right angle or square that depends upon the difficulty level of the question but basically with the help of a geometrical figure i need to find out we need to find out the shortest distance between the starting and the ending point basic questions i'm talking about all right all these three questions also come under the same category i can categorize these three questions as a moderate to a little advanced level questions i hope by this time almost all the students must have completed the question but the third question uh, given to you is very very important students let's see the question anyway we are going to discuss one by one ah this question town a is to the west of town b which is to the north of town c which is to the south of town d they have given some instructions there actually this question has been taken from previous bank po exams nowadays this type of questions are being asked in almost every competitive exams where reasoning is part of those exams all right many students have done this question wrong at that uh, in that year all right most of the students went for uh, southeast or northwest or southwest or northeast as their confirmed answer but no students right option for this question is none of this what do you mean by none of this after solving this one you get one answer that answer is not given among these four options not there in these four options your answer must be different of these four for that reason only you need to go for none of this none of the given options is true you get uh, two answers for that one equally possible two answers for that one i'll explain you at the end the third question will be the last question for us in this class now let us start with these two simple questions and that too instead of uh, uh, taking the first question first question is a very good question of course for this question 25 kilometers is the right answer you please check that one those students who have already finished this one we'll do this one as the second question first go for a simple question the second question here we start with this after that we'll go for the second one because if any beginner is also there they can understand this class easily all right now let's start this one how they have given we go with the instructions how they gave a student started from his hostel and uh, traveled 5 kilometers towards east they have given how to go about uh, simple students i'm starting here anyway you can start so i'm starting from here this is the starting point he went uh, how many kilometers 5 kilometers towards east i'm taking this one as a uh, Five. Okay, towards east. Always remember this is east. You know that, right? Ah, five kilometers towards east, followed by six kilometers to his right side. Obviously, this is right. That is left. So six kilometers towards his right. You have to go by the instructions. That's it. Okay. Ah, next word they have get right. He then turned to his left and traveled for five kilometers. Left. The person is coming down, down, down south. it will become left it is right so 5 kilometers towards uh, left over 
Then after that they have given, he took a turn towards south and travelled for 6 kilometers. Now south, wherever he is going, south means on the plane which is south you have to take. So this is south, south again 6. Over. Then after that they have given here you see that is 6 kilometers. Turn to his left again to travel 25 kilometers they have given. Now again right side and 25 kilometers. See student the space is a uh, little less here. Mm, what I will do just imagine that it is 25. Imagine that it is 25. Actually you have to show difference uh, between that one 6 and 25 it should be a little lengthier than that one but 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 space management right we don't have enough space here. Anyway take it as 25. Alright, after that they have given, he turned towards north and travelled for 24 kilometers to reach his home. North, obviously this is north. North, how many? 24 kilometers. Isn't it 24? Yes, 24 kilometers. Here you have to use a small technique. What is that? Don't take directly one line and make it as 24 kilometers there. You have to compare this line with that of the uh, previous information as well because uh, in the chart uh, previous information is there these two lines are parallel line to this one for that reason you have to consider this counting as well what is this uh, from here to here 6 again here to here 6 that means if you take a parallel point here here from here to here obviously 6 plus 6 uh, 12 kilometers will be there my advice is this one in the directions chapter because directions chapter is very simple actually all right but this type of techniques you have to follow once you bifurcate the 24 into uh, 12 and 12 based on the parallel lines it would be easier for you for counting and there will be zero percent mistake when you go with this method all right now we'll go for this one this is 12 over and the more or less uh, i'll take here just, just, just imagine this one as one more 12. Actually, it should be exactly half. Some questions, in some questions, this also matters a lot. But due to uh, like uh, very less space, imagine that it is 12. Okay. So, from here to this point, uh, total 24 kilometers are there. Now, this is the ending point. Clear? Now, I need to find out the shortest distance. What is the shortest distance from his hostel to home? Simple one, shortage distance means this is home and this is some light focusing is there. Okay, that is a, a hostel. Now I need to go for the shortest distance. Don't count in this way. 5 plus 6 plus 5 plus 6 plus 25 plus 24. Don't go in that way until and unless they ask for that. Sometimes specifically they ask some questions based on the path. Alright, now take the shortest distance here. Shortest distance means this is the straight line okay shortest distance now this is altitude more or less equal to hypotenuse in a right angle triangle for easy reckoning for easy calculation purpose i just imagine one right angle triangle here have to imagine that very simple already this is the parallel points are there now i can figure out one right angle triangle here Suppose if you take this one as a, a point A, this is B and this is C. Now I need to find out the hypotenuse, length of the hypotenuse. We have the Pythagoras theorem for this one. What is that? AC square is equal to AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Isn't it? I don't need AC square. I need only AC. AC. For that reason it should be under root. Now, what is AB and BC here students? Obviously, AB is 12. 12 means 12 square 144. Simple. Plus BC square. BC square means from here to here. Already from here to here, how much is there? Just imagine here, this is 25. That means this parallel point. From here to here, 25. Again, from here to here, that is 5 parallel line. This is 5. Already this is 5. So here this is 25 plus 5. 30 plus 5. 35. So 35 square. What is 35 square? You have to by heart that one. At least up to 
I recommend actually up to 50, even uh, up to 30 also okay. Anyway, 5, uh, uh, when the unit digits is 5, how to go for the square and uh, uh, square roots also, cube, cube root, I explained in my basic classes of speed math. So you just refer that one. 35 square is uh, 1, 2, 2, 5. Alright, under root. So, or just add up this one how to add it up many methods are there i've told you without writing anything on the paper you just leave thousand leave to this one 200 also 44 plus 25 40 plus 20 60 plus this one 9 69 269 this is right 269 plus 1 369 so 131369 1369 under root Okay, what is under root of 1369? You have to buy hot data. 30, not 36, 36, 37, 37, 37. So this is 37. As simple as this one. Okay, so here 37 is given as option number 8. My answer is 37. Is it clear for all of you students? If any beginner is there, you please repeat this video up to this extent. Just repeat that one and try to understand the concept. Simply here I found out one right angle triangle. Alright, now you try the first question. This question also very important students. Most of the students have done mistake. Most of the students have uh, arrived at a wrong answer. Actually the right answer is uh, 25 kilometers. Option E is the right option. Okay, just pause the video here, take some time and try to do it by yourself. After that, you go for the resuming of the video. Alright, yes, just, just take some time. Okay, I hope most of you must have finished this one. Now you see students have to start it. Anil started from his home on his motorbike to go to his uncle's home. He travelled 10 kilometers towards north, took a right turn 9 kilometers from there towards south. Some, some description they have given. Let's start this one. 10 kilometers towards north. I'm going in this way. Okay, this is the starting point. 10 kilometers towards north. I'm taking this one as 10. Over. Then after that, uh, north and took his right and traveled for 9 kilometers. Right side 9. More or less here. It's right. Simple. Now after that, uh, from there he turns towards south. Uh, actually, he started you know, given in the past tense. Then he turns present and so some grammatical mistake is there. I need to teach my admin people now. Anyway, if uh, one incident when we are describing something, either it should be purely completely in past tense or present tense in normal cases. In some exceptional cases, of course, we can change the tense also. Anyway, students, then he turned, turned towards south and went for 10 kilometers. Now you see, turn towards south, 10 kilometers parallel to this one. I'm keeping this one as 10. Okay, and then after that, he then turned to his left and travelled for 5 kilometers. Left means obviously this side. So that is 5 kilometers. This is 5. Okay, ah, and took a left turn again and travelled for 22 kilometers before turning to his left again. Very important sentence. Sometimes they confuse with uh, this type of sentences. Don't get confused. Simply from here, he turned to his left and went for 22 kilometers before turning to his left. That means first he took left turn, went for 22 kilometers. After that he again took a left turn. Before turning to his left means after traveling for 22 kilometers he turned to his left side. That is the meaning. Okay. Now here I am taking this one now. Uh, hmm. 22, let's take it as 5. 22. 22 means the same thing here. This is the parallel point. From here to here you take uh, 10 up to this extent. 10, 22 means I need to take another 12 here. I'm taking that 12 here. That. Okay. Uh, after that what they have given? 20 kilometers before turning to his left means he took the left turn. He traveled for 7 kilometers and turned to his right and traveled for 2 kilometers and uh, stopped there. Very, very important sentence. While depicting this one you should be very careful students. From here he took left turn, up to that extent okay. He went for 7 kilometers. Already some parallel line, one parallel line is there here. Why you are taking one more line parallel to this one, you have to consider this as well to avoid mistake in calculating. 
isn't it? How do you go for this one? I need to go for 7 here. 7 means already this parallel point up to this extent it is 5. Okay, is it parallel? Right, okay. Now 5 and again this should be 2. This is true. Now what the clarity? This is how you need to go for the questions. If you go in this way, no question will go wrong. Okay. After that what happens? 7 kilometers and turn to his right and travel for 2 kilometers and stop there. So right side is that one. 2 kilometers somewhere I'm taking here. This is true. And stopped here. This is the point. Stopped. Now what is the distance between starting and the ending point? Same thing students here. Same thing. Uh, actually this 10 kilometers line 5 should be a little closer to this one. Anyway students no problem. Now just to go for the straight line here. The shortest possible distance. Take this. Okay. Now you have to imagine one right angle triangle in this one. Okay. Now if you just name this one as a E, I am taking this is B and this is C. Obviously here also I need to find out the AC. AC is equal to AB square plus BC square under root. What is AB here? So clearly AB is from here to here. You can easily calculate that one. From here to here already it is 2. Then the parallel line. Parallel 10 plus 12 that is 22 plus this 2. This 2. I am talking about this 2. This 2. Okay. So this is uh, 22. Previously there have been 22 only right. 22 plus 2 that is 24. Now it is 24 square plus. Now I am going for already I have taken this AB. Now BC square. Here you should be a little careful. BC, from here to here, how much is it? The parallel line from here to here, it is 9. But it is stopping here only. From 9, you have to deduct uh, this measurement. How much is that parallel line says to here? So, from 9, you have to deduct 2. From here to here, it is 7. Parallel line also 7. Now we got the clarity. This is how you need to go for the questions. Now here, this is 7 square only. 24 plus uh, 24 square, square plus 7 square under root. So 24 square is 576. Isn't it? 25 is 625. 26 is 676. Yes, 24 is 576. Plus 7 square is 49 under root. Simple. Now instead of doing 49 plus 576, simply you do 50. I am adding 1. In speed maths I have given you. I am adding 1 here. So correspondingly I have to deduct 1 here. So when it becomes 50, it will become 575. 575 plus 50. Uh, just remove 5, 500. Sir. Only only 2 digits I am taking. 75 plus 50. 75 plus 25 is 100. Plus 25, 125. So 500 plus 125, 625 under root. So 625 means it is 25. Now we got the clarity. So here my answer is 25 kilometers. This is the way students. This is the way. Always do the questions like this. Most of the students have not done this question properly. They have done wrong. They went for the wrong answer. Because they have not drawn the chart in a proper way. You should be very careful while just making the line into two. Always take the help of the parallel lines. When it is 22, of course we have not utilized this one, but you go by the procedure. 10 and 12 bifurcated. After that, from here to here I have to take 7. 7 means already parallel line here is 5. So now, out of 7, 5 I am taking here, 2 will be here. That 2 made a lot of, uh, what do you call this one, change here. Because this 2 is parallel to this line. When you are going for this line, out of this 9, I have to deduct uh, this 2. So I will be remaining with the left out with the 7. Even if you do a minute mistake also, entire question will go wrong. 
you will be losing your own mark at the same time some penalty will be there in most of the exams generally 1 by 4th or 0 1 by 3rd 0 0.33 percent of the marks will be deducted from your score in both the ways you are getting loose last okay fine anyway this is how exactly you need to go for the question then go for the next question students it's a very very good question very very important question as well option is none of this take a little time and try to do it by yourself after that i'll explain you clearly right have you got the answer then right answer now let's see how they are going to quickly redo this one you try to follow that town a is to the west of town b which is to the north of town c which is to the south of town d don't get confused right don't get confused with the pronouns they have used they will go in a proper way i'll give you the technique town first uh, like you divide the sentence here town a is to the west of town b that means a's position is depending upon that of b's so if i take b here i'm taking b here town a is to the west of town b they have not given any distance here in number we will take it uh, uh, take equal distance no issue at all then after that uh, town a is to the west of town b which is this which refers uh, b you know this one okay which is means b is to the north of town c b is to the north of town c that means c should be south of a this is c all right next north of town c which is this this which refers c that means c is to the south of town d very very important one here you see d should be uh, which is means c should be south of d c should be south of d that means B must be north of C. But already, already for C, north position is occupied by B. Now, where shall I keep D? Here they have given the information about B and C, then C and D. Indirectly, B and D are related to each other. But I cannot take any one confirmed place for D. D has uh, multiple uh, places there. Many possibilities are there. How is that? Uh, the condition is that uh, C should be south of D. D should be north of C. That means D can be here between B and C or equally here or here and so on on this vertical line. But one thing must be, must be proven that uh, B should be north of C at the same time c should be south of d got the clarity these are the possible places for d over then after that next information you see if town e is to the east of town c fair information town uh, which town they have given e e is to the east of c this is c e must be somewhere all right and then after that they have given e is to the east of town c and uh, south of town f very very important information now this uh, e should be south of f that means f should be north of e isn't it f should be north of e but where shall i keep f f can be parallel to this b here or above this one on this vertical line anyway i should keep uh, f but I don't know the place confirmly. With the reference to B, I don't know the place of F. B can be, uh, 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 this one, F can be here, here, anywhere on this vertical line. Got the clarity? Right. Next clue, you go for that one. Because this is completely vague information. I can do nothing with this one. Definitely, they must give some other information. Wait for that one. Ah, what's that they have given? I uh, this over F, which is which is means F is, okay, F is on the straight line on which A and D also form. That means D, A and F must be on a straight line. Here the question comes, what do you mean by a straight line? Generally, when somebody asks us a straight line, when somebody asks us to draw a straight line on a plane, generally we draw like this and say this is a straight line. Of course, that is right. But this is not the only straight line we can uh, like uh, uh, give in some other way also. We can draw in some other way also. What is that one? It can be a straight line. 
it can be a straight line it can be a straight line right straight line is a line which is joining uh, two dots two points on a plane without any curves isn't it so keep that one in the mind straight line means that can be in any direction but without uh, curves here they have given very clearly that uh, a d and f must be on a straight line by fulfilling all the previous conditions as well okay now how to prove this one how to prove this one simple students you see here most of the students are done in this way how here when it comes to d's position d must be d must be north of a c a d and f must be on a straight line so one of the places for d is this one i'm considering this one by fulfilling the condition that d is north of c or c is south of d and f should be in the north of north of e or e is south of f so i may consider this position for f simple now see students a d and f are on a straight line yes i fulfilled this condition this is one of the right answers observe that one of the right answers it is not the final answer why is it an answer in the sense uh, arrangement not answer i'm sorry this is one of the arrangements by fulfilling all the conditions now let's answer the question first based on this arrangement then we will go in depth we'll have an insight of uh, any other possibilities as well how now you see what's the question first of all here they have asked the question which direction town b is located with reference to f with reference to f if you see from f side in which direction b is located very very simply i can say with reference to f for f this is south and this is west so b is from f between south and west so that should be southwest isn't it so southwest must be my answer many students have done in this way and conformly they have given the answer as a southwest but students it may not be the final answer it may not be the only answer it may not be the only uh, arrangement while proving the conditions there may be some other possibility also how and why you just observe this one i can go for one more arrangement also what is that just i'm taking this one ce just space i take here this is c of course this is e think in a different way can i go for one more arrangement by fulfilling all the conditions of course yes how is that one d should be north of c and f should be f should be north of e now i may take d here north of c all the conditions are fulfilled then i may take f here f here e is a south of f and at the same time at the same time a d and f are on a straight line yes sir yes i can prove in this way also if this is other possibility by fulfilling all the conditions the question is which direction town b is located with reference to f now you see this is f with reference to f now where is b b's position is fixed okay b i have changed only d and f by fulfilling all the conditions now with reference to f where is b this is north and this is west now b is located between north and west with reference to f so my answer must be northwest answer must be northwest now which one i have to go for shall i mark northwest as my answer or southwest if you are uh, if you uh, opt for northwest or southwest both are wrong answers only as far as this question is concerned as far as the options are concerned this is wrong because my answer is either northwest or southwest my answer is either northwest or southwest but that not that is not given as one of the options there for that reason i have to mark my option as none of these
What do you mean by none of this? None of the given options is true. I have some other answer which is not given as one of the options. So my option is none of this. My answer is Northwest or Southwest is my answer. This is the way students. Always you have to do the questions in this way. Hope this is clear for all of you. All right. Always adopt this type of methods. First you learn the basics. All right. After that, if any twist is they try to find out the twist. Uh, after learning the basics, of course, you have to go by the unconditional, unconditional practice. Okay, so you have to do in this way. And uh, uh, finally, before concluding this one, I request all of you to share this video with all your circles so that any other students may also be benefited. And please subscribe our channel also because uh, we have only 72,400 subscribers so far. So please subscribe, please subscribe and uh, ask your friends or colleagues also to subscribe that one because I'm going to upload many, many videos which are helpful for you for many competitive exams. And if any student wants to take admission into our regular or foundation courses or advanced courses, you please download our mobile app from the Play Store, Chakravarti Classroom. We have many apps there, Chakravarti e-classroom, uh, Chakravarti classroom, test platform, many things are there. But for videos, you uh, just download Chakravarti classroom. For test platform, you go for Chakravarti e-classroom, test platform. Uh, separately, two mobile apps are there. One is for videos and other one is for the test, test platform. Okay, thank you very much and I will meet you in the next session.